fellows, we did it. 50 subscribers, I am so happy. Wait a minute. What? No, wait. Doesn't make sense. He just started. No. What? He surpassed me? No! Okay, context. So, if you have been following me for a while, you probably remember in this video, yes, this one, this one video, I said this. It's Evo! He's my second favorite hero factory guy. That still stands! I still love this guy. I love him a lot. But I never got my most wanted version of him, and that was the breakout one. Yes, I did have the brain attack one, but it just doesn't hit the same. It's nowhere near as unique as the breakout one. Until one fateful day, I was at the flea market, and I saw this old Lego store being run by a German man. And then I saw an Evo there for $15. I couldn't resist the urge to rob the man of all of his worth and steal the Evo too. This is Evo from Hero Factory Breakout, one of the best lines that Lego ever made for a construction set. All of the characters, villains, sets were also innovative and shock. It's a shark. <laughs> the hell was that? That was weird. Anyway. I think my house is haunted. Anyway, so this figure is one of the best designed figures uh, to come out of Breakout. I know he's a bit simple, but that kind of plays into his strengths. He's a yellow guy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Anyway, so he has one big arm. Wonder why. Anyway, so, uh, he has this one arm that's supposed to be more heavily armored because he fights this guy called Toxic Reaper. I know it's a dumb name, just roll with it. And it's very- I like how it looks, it's just- you can't bend the arm too much or the armor will clash and the arm will break- Okay, now it's not doing it as soon as it's on camera. See, look, the arm will break off, there you go. Look, so, oh, oh my god. His back is really bare and skeletal, which was a problem with a lot of Hero Factory figures around this time. Though they did try to cover it up later on. With a foot. Are you kidding me? He comes with a gun that shoots damage, which is absolutely brutal. I'm not getting that back. And some handcuffs which attach to that clip right there. You can't attach them to his hand, uh, but while you do that, he's a good guy. The amount of articulation is really impressive, especially for a figure this small, but that's just really a bonus that comes with TCBS figures in general. One issue I had with this figure and a lot of Hero Factory figures around this time, whenever they had weapons in one particular hand, they would normally not give you a second hand, they would give you a classic bionicle hand instead. So instead I realized I had a spare yellow hand, so I just replaced it and now it's perfect and I love it. That's a mod I'd like to recommend to every single people, every single person who has an Evo. Unless you're... He does have light piping, though since the helmet pretty much covers all, pretty much covers the back of his head, he can't really do the light up thing. Which is considerably impressive for how bad that is, considering his entire head is light piping. How did you screw that up? His helmet sculpt is very nice. I like how it's asymmetric with that little, little ding-a-ling right there. <laughs> I shouldn't call it a ding -a -ling. I like how militaristic it looks. Under the articulation. Ball joint. Ball joint. Ball joint. Ball joint. Ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint. Oh, uh, so yeah, he's really poseable. <laughs> so yeah, I would totally recommend this figure. It has a great articulation, great poseability, the colors are amazing, it looks really unique on a shelf. And his asymmetric design makes him look a lot cooler and a lot more interesting than most characters from Hero Factory. So, yeah, I give this the stamp out of approval. I give this a Lego minifig out of lemonade that's been sitting out for too long. Being 100% serious, this has been, I need to go, I should probably go throw this away.
Before I go, I just want to say congratulations to my dear friend Spiro from this channel, Spiro Gamer 800. At least I think that's what it is, I haven't checked. <laughs> but I'm very proud of him for hitting 50 subscribers. He's at 58 now, I think, so he has officially surpassed me, and I am very impressed, and I am very proud of him. Uh, he works extremely hard, and I would recommend anybody to go and watch him. I am so happy for you, good sir. Uh, great job out there. Keep doing great work, man. Congratulations. I just checked the statistics, and every single person who watches my videos except for you is subscribed. So if you want to win 78% nitrogen and 20% oxygen, then you better subscribe. <laughs>